I'm here at GCN Top Secret Mini Base, aka my garage, in the southwest of England. And as you can see, it's currently not looking that impressive. We've got a lot of junk everywhere, because recently I've only just moved in. So what I'm going to do is get this lot tidied up and I'm going to build a bike workshop so I can get all my bikes, my equipment in and, crucially, get a top-notch indoor trainer set up ready to go. Because as each day ticks by, I get a little bit more unfit. So before we get stuck into this project, I want to share my plans with you guys at home. So what we're going to do down here, we're going to finish boarding this wall out and we're going to use this as some bike storage. And then moving down here, we're going to clear all of this junk out. And along the back wall, we're going to build a workbench with under storage space as well. And on the wall, we're going to have a storage unit, which crucially is going to hold the television for the indoor trainer setup, which I'm going to have around this area here facing the back wall. We're going to have a bit of space down the bottom to hold the fan as well. So that's going to be important. We've got this wall painted already, which it looks like I've done a bit of a bad job. So I'll have to finish that off later on. And over here on this wall, we're going to have a door fitted. So every time I come in and out, we don't have to have the roller shutter come up and down. But a bit of a spoiler alert, I'm not fitting the door in the video. That's a bit past my level. I'm just kidding. Right, I've got everything that I need to get this build underway and I've cheated a little bit because last weekend I have already boarded the ceiling out to give me a little bit of a head start. But I do want to stress, this is not an unlimited spend project. Don't worry, I've not blown the entire GCN budget on my garage. And the reason behind this is, is because I want to make it a project that you guys at home could take on too without having to spend every single penny you've got. And I'm by no means an expert carpenter, but with a little bit of time and care, hopefully we can achieve some pretty impressive results. Oh yeah, plus I get to use the power tools. Let's get bored in the walls. All that's left to do to finish the wall off is take a little bit off the edge of this board and then I can get that on the wall and move back to sorting the workbench out and making a start on the units underneath. Right, we've finished the wall, now to make the cart on the wood for the work units. Right, I'm just starting to construct this part here, which will be the top part that the worktop can sit on. So we're going to put these struts in place, secure those, pre-drill the holes, and then it can all be built, lifted up, and secured into the wall at about this sort of height. And then we can put our worktop on top of it too. God, check this out. We've already got this worktop support ready, fitted, and good to go. It's pretty sturdy, to be honest. So now what we've got to do is cut some wood to sit underneath and then build the uprights to support what will hold the worktop. And then we can work on building the cupboards and the units to go underneath. Right, first stumbling block of the day. I've cut this bit of wood about 15 mil too short. So I haven't followed the official engineering rule, which is measure twice, cut once. I've been following the rule, measure once, cut twice. Right, sorted. Did I mention I'm not actually a carpenter? Right, we've got the framework in place, and would you believe it? God, it's bloody solid. So over this side, we're gonna leave this open and have open shelving here, and above, we're gonna have a unit on the wall, which is also gonna have the TV on, ready for indoor training set up as well. And on this side, we're gonna have door fronts here because we can have shelving inside, bits tucked underway, and keep it nice and tidy. Right, we're at a bit of a crucial but exciting stage because this next board I'm going to cut is going to serve as our worktop and I'm going to have to cut it in two sections because the whole unit is a bit wider than the length of the boards and it's important that I get a nice clean cut on it so that it looks good when it's in place. Right, let's do it. Worktop on.
I'll tell you what, we've made some good progress and that's build day one, over. Right, it's day two of the garage build and I've been let loose with the GoPro. So let's get in the garage. First up, I better clear all this junk out so we can crack on and get building. Right, so today I'm mostly gonna be focusing on the unit at the back. So over here, we're gonna have a shelving unit, which I'm gonna board the back out so we've got a nice clean finish. On this side, we need to separate this off, so divide it up with some of the chipboard. And then we're gonna make some shelving inside and some door fronts to go on as well. So that'll be today's little project. At the top here, we're gonna to need to remove this socket and bit of cable in so that we can board the back wall nicely to make it look nice and smart. And that should keep us going for quite a while. Quick little update before I stop for lunch. And as you can see behind me, all of the walls are now boarded. Well, all of the ones that I need to have boards on. And I think you'll agree, it's looking pretty good so far. Next up, I made some dividers for the cupboards and they got straight onto attaching the shelves. Right, day two of the garage build, done and dusted. I'm cold and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go inside and get nice and warm. I'll do this. See ya. Start day three of the garage build, and I'll tell you what, it is absolutely freezing in here. So I better get busy, get building, and get warm. We cracked on getting the shelving and door fronts constructed next. Quick little update before I head in for lunch. So far, on day three, we've got shelving, we've got a base put in, we've got a door, some nice hinges, door handle, and check this out. Catch. I know I said I'm no carpenter, but I am happy with that. Finally, putting the finishing touches to the doors, fitting the last ones on and adding the handles. Oh, check that out. Woo. Got that excited already. Started to put some products in there. Bit of muck off, wahoo kicker in there. That is looking cool. We're coming towards the end of day three and I'm sat on the floor because I'm getting a sore back. Cutting and starting to put all the bits of the interlocking floor tiles together, which will be, uh, the next step underway. Day three, draw into a close. I'm going in now, I'm cold, I'm tired, and I've got a bad back and I'm hobbling around like a little old man. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it's day four, the final day of the garage build, and it's freezing cold, so let's get inside and see what's going on. Today, we're gonna to be finishing the flooring off, get all the pieces cut out. We're gonna be getting the television mounted up onto the wall, getting everything cleaned up so that we've got the perfect canvas to get kitted out with all our bikes and equipment later on. Right, we're at a breakthrough stage in the garage build because this is the last tile of the floor to go down. So let's get fitting it. All we've got to do is work out which orientation to put it in. Um, and you would think, having laid 60 of these already, well, 59, this is the 60th, that I'd be quite good at working out which way it goes. It turns out I'm not, and I've been struggling on nearly every single one. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's right. Sixty floor tiles done. I've just come into the warm from out in the garage where we're still building away, and it is freezing cold out there. So I've come inside, and I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I suppose as a being a builder for the day, I'll have builder's tea. Not sure what that is though. Well. Nice bit of 
a cake, homemade tiffin. Mm. Very good. More, mm, very good. Right, that's it. Tea and cake all gone. I'm gonna have to get back out into the garage, get working, get building, and try and get warm. All that's left for today is to get the TV on the wall. I think, about right there. After four hard days, here is our finished garage. Check it out. So the TV's on the wall and that wraps up the garage build. And like I said, I'm no carpenter, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, it's not quite a professional level job, but the main thing is, this is what we achieved in four days, and it's the kind of thing you could achieve at home by yourself. And stay tuned for the next video, where we'll be turning this blank canvas into the ultimate bike workshop, kitted out with all the kit that you could possibly think of. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to build your own garage like this at home. And why not let us know in the comments section down below just how you do your garage. Anyway, I'm off to plan the next stage of this build and how we're gonna kit the garage out.